Around here, um, there are a lot of firms that are exploring biomimetic robots. And so it was a cool new cutting edge of, of, of science. And so it just, it, I, I'm, you know, it was an inspiration to all of us to see these, uh, um, what do they call this spot, which is a little dog type robot. And there, there are a whole bunch of them. You must have seen them, Sarah, from, uh, Boston Dynamics. Like the Boston Dynamics robots? I bet I have, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, you know, engineers are having fun with this and, you know, making great strides. Why not have um, middle schoolers have the same fun? So. Oh, I love that thought process of the fact that so much ground is being covered and there are a lot of really cool careers and research going on. And so you thought, let's give kids a head start. And, uh, you know, if you've worked with kids, you know that they are some of the most creative minds out there. Exactly. So yeah. if you get them started thinking about it early, imagine yeah. what these young roboticists and biologists and engineers that you've inspired will be creating by the time they're working in those labs. Yeah. And, you know, the um, animals that we feature in the curriculum, there are only four of them. But the creates you just see that creativity when mm -hmm. kids when you look across the range of solutions that they've come up with, it's pretty amazing um, yeah. how many solutions there are. Mm -hmm. Does 